flow limitation with snoring, what is really happening. In many people with SDB, snoring may occur along with flow limitation. As the muscles in the upper airway relax, the soft tissue begins to vibrate when you breathe. This creates the audible sound of snoring. The tendency to snore increases when you sleep on your back. It is also affected by other factors, such as taking certain medication like sedatives, consuming alcohol, or general tiredness. Notice the turbulence on the airflow curve. Breath by breath, the frequency of the upper airway vibration increases along with the loudness of the snoring. Snoring also increases the effort required to breathe. And it can be rather noisy. Flow limitation with snoring often leads to arousal. Once again, we see why such disturbance during sleep is a matter of concern. It has a significant, visible and measurable impact on your heart rate and brainwave activity. On arousal, our model rapidly takes a few deep breaths. As he does so, the various characteristics begin to normalize again. Whenever an arousal occurs to restore normal breathing, it interrupts your sleep. Because of the noise that accompanies snoring, most partners can readily identify this type of sleep-disordered breathing.